Israel now has its first ever pro-continental team, with the ex-pro Ran Margaliot leading a group of riders all trying to get as far as they can in a sport that up to now has seen little Israeli success. So it was July, and the TV was open, I saw the Tour de France, and, and I decided I want to be there. Obviously, there was no Israeli rider who ever raced the Tour de France. I realized quickly that I was simply not good enough. I lacked the talent, and at the same time, uh, I just didn't go through the same path that riders in my age would have go through in other countries. At, uh, on top of a mountain near Jerusalem, I met a guy called Ron Baron. His, uh, his passion for cycling is huge. He's been supporting Israeli cyclists for many years, living at his home. We're a non-for-profit startup sports team started by a few crazy people who thought they can, they can make it to the Tour de France uh, with people coming from countries like us. I'm from here, this is my home. It's called Metzer. It's just a kibbutz. Kibbutz is a form of uh, Israeli settlement, and I grew up here. The Israeli sport always missed the leap into the professional cycling. So no one ever really got there. No one really got the chance. No one really got the support that we have now in Cycling Academy. So I've got to, to go to Rand sometimes, our manager, and just say to him, thank you, thank you for doing that. Because without you, I wouldn't have this, this opportunity to even get the 11th place in Belgium. It's not our best sport in Israel, cycling. Uh, so yeah, for us it's like a big dream that came through Cycling Academy. Like it's taking us from here to, to the highest level in the world. So we have good opportunity and we don't need to run after small clubs in Belgium or any other club in Europe. Like we have the opportunity here at home and we, we, are, we are the riders here. We are the, the best riders here. We have, uh, I, think, I believe, one of the most international teams in the, in the peloton. We have 16 riders coming from 12 different countries. Uh, so a part of our three Israelis, we have uh, two Canadians, an American, a Mexican, Estonian, Latvian, Czech, uh, Australian, New, uh, New Zealand guy. Uh, we, we have everyone. <laughs> So if you want to understand what these guys are going through, you have, to, you have to try to understand first where are they coming from. You know, it's sort of a desert. And cycling-wise, they are coming from nothing. In the end of the day, we, we analyze them and we compare them to the European fellows who, are, who, are, who grew up, were brought up in a cycling country, in cycling houses. So it's a, it's, a big, it's a big step up they need to make. And many times they could feel isolated. If you come from a small country, you would probably know about this team. It's, it's like a bit more of a clear pathway. And I think that's something that's lacked in the cycling world in the past. The, the clear pathways for, for people from smaller countries in how to get into the professional peloton. Hubo un momento en el que me di cuenta que como mexicano, Tenía, tenía dos opciones si quería en verdad seguir en el ciclismo. Una era quejarme de que soy mexicano y de que los equipos no me quieren. O podía tomar mi posición de mexicano y convertirlo en una ventaja. La Ciudad de México es la segunda ciudad más grande del mundo. Entonces, a alguien le tiene que gustar la bicicleta entre tantas personas. Y si puedo ser yo esa persona, 
que conecta a las marcas con, el, con, con los clientes de México, eso me va a ayudar a mí también a, a, a crecer en mi carrera. There is a certain amount of interest that it will bring from the global Jewish community. They have come out in the past to support this team. And it's, it's reaching a completely different group of, of fans and spectators. It's, and that just brings in people into the cycling world who have previously had no connection and no interest in the cycling world. And it's absolutely beautiful. And I believe this sport has the opportunity to, to create a better society. I don't want to sound like a crazy, crazy person who try to, to achieve world peace through that, but in my, in my own way, I feel that getting more people on the bike and getting more people on the bike in this country will help us change the, the reality that we see sometimes through the TV. Tour Farad, our grand from the Dead Sea, for me is like the, the biggest, the, the best event in Israel. It doesn't matter where I stay in the world in, in this moment, I just go to take part in this event. Dead Sea, several hundred meters below us, uh, is just still utterly mind-boggling. Yeah. Approximately halfway through the Fondo, you, can, you climb the Scorpion Climb, which is actually, I discovered afterwards, was built by the Romans in the first century. So you, you're going up these amazing historical monuments. The climb is actually a monument uh, and it's brutally steep. <laughs> We've cycled with a good amount of hundreds of people, but they for sure remember us. And I just hope we could inspire some of them. And one of the other ways to inspire them is, is just to be the, those guys who break the boundaries that we always thought it's impossible to break. Here I am at Pro Continental Rams. Why shouldn't I go to Walter? To, to participate in the World's Team Time Trial, uh, which took place in 2016 in Doha, Qatar. And this is not a place where Israeli riders are usually, usually appear at. Our youngest rider, Guy Sagib, who is the Israeli champion, is also, was also at the time serving in the Israeli army. And as a soldier, he was not allowed to travel to an Arabic country like Qatar. So I thought uh, with myself, what will be the punishment if I, if I still I will be there? And uh, I, I say, yeah, it's it worth it. So I just, I just take the plane and, and went there. In Israel, uh, every, every uh, adult man above 18 have to go three years for the army. It's obligation. Uh, so there, it's not existing in every other countries. So for us, uh, from age 18 to 21, 
you just have to be there. <laughs> you cannot grow as much as you can in a pro cycling, uh, as much as you need. Also, it's uh, three really important years as, uh, as you're growing as a, as a professional. Uh, so it slows the process and uh, sometimes uh, most of the guy are not, guys are not uh, continue with the, with the sport. Might be an unacceptable or, or it's hard to understand for people, but this is our way to demonstrate mutual commitment for, for our country and for each other because it's part of our life, the same way we pay tax, the same way we, we celebrate the, the holidays or, or going to school. Still at the same time, they, they are professional cyclists and they're racing in the same team with, with guys in their age who don't have to do that. I'm wearing the Israeli flag also on me, so it's a double, double stressing. <laughs> Actually, this is this is my country. This is I represent my country. Uh, this says uh, a lot for me and for the team, for the Israeli people, uh, and I, I need to make sure that I'm making them proud of me, proud of the team. Uh, they, they all look at me. <laughs>